Hey guys, it's um, Juju6, and I decided to do a review for Black Veil Brides, the album that came out in 2011, Set the World on Fire. Um, also, I have <coughs> my Black Veil Brides shirt on, so if you can see that, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to be reviewing this album for you guys today. So, uh, New Religion, Set the World on Fire, Fallen Angels, Love Isn't Always Fair, God Bless You, Rebel Love Song, Savior, Legacy, Die For You, Ritual, and Youth and Whiskey are the tracks. Um, I thought this album was better than We Stitch These Wounds because I think Andy Six's voice is more mature, it's more like deepish. And I think people are going to stop doing that thing where they call him, like, some emo sing scene singer. Because that's what people kind of used to refer to him in the um, first album. And this one, he has, like, a way deeper voice, and it kind of goes a lot better with this hard rock music style he's been throwing off. There's also less screams in this album, um, which I don't really care. Like, it doesn't really matter if they have screams in their album or not. It doesn't bother me. Because I still think the album is really good. Musically, I think they did a great job with this album. The drums sound a lot better than in their first album. Because they have a new drummer now. And I think this drummer is a lot better than the other one. And um, their guitarists and bassists really have advanced more on their solos. Compared to the first album. They still had some great solos in that album. But I think they took it a step up here. Um, so yeah. Um, New Religion is the beginning song. I think it's it's a good choice for them to have this as their beginning song. Their first album, they had a good beginning song. I don't like this song that much just because of the lyrics, but the music, like the guitar is awesome. I just don't like, I don't really like the intro just because I'm a Christian. I'm not really for anti-religion, which is the new religion, they think. So, but I do like the music. Set the World on Fire, they came out with a music video for this, and I do love the song, I love the music, I love how the whole song flows. Fallen Angels, I think was their first single off this album, they came out with a music video for this as well. Um, it's a good song, and when I listen to it, it reminds me of Kiss, because they all sing together kind of at the chorus, and it just, it just reminds me of Kiss so much, this song. Love Isn't Always Fair is probably my favorite song, one of my favorite songs in the album. I love the way it flows, I love the guitar, and I love the whole song. God Bless You is a really good song. Um, you can definitely feel um, the aggression kind of in that song. Um, and the music is good too. Rebel Love Song. I used to like this song a lot, but it got overplayed on the radio. And they came out with a music video for us that came more popular. But it still is a really good song. Savior is one of their slower songs. It's acoustic, but it actually has a scream at the end, which is kind of surprising, which you wouldn't think the slowest song would have a scream. But I definitely love it. Um, they always do good when they do like acoustic songs like this, so it really did impress me. Um, Legacy, they came out with a music video for this song, too. It's really good. I think it kind of pulls together the whole album as well as set the world on fire of what the album like sounds like overall. It's a good song to listen to if you want to listen to a Black Veil Bride song song. Um, Die For You, I really love the vibe of this song. I really like the lyrics and music to this. Ritual is kind of different because it doesn't really have they don't put a lot out in it, meaning like solo-wise. It's kind of like a basic rock song, but I really do like it. It's kind of slower paced than their usual stuff, but it's got some good lyrics, and I really do love the song. It's one of my favorite off the album. Youth and Whiskey, I was disappointed because this is their last song, and I thought it was going to end strong, but it kind of ended into a complete mess. I don't like Youth and Whiskey. I don't like the lyrics. I didn't even like how the song like flowed it just it was terrible to me but um this is definitely my favorite album by them this is the uh inside this is if you look at that and um the booklet and 
all that and the cover and then here's the back so um uh, hope you enjoyed that video sorry if i sound a little muffled and stuff i have a cold so bleh.